Hey guys, it's Panda Cuba. Today I'm really excited because I have an unbagging from Belly Puzzles and an unboxing. Unboxing! I've been waiting for this for a week, so I'm really excited to show you um, what I bought from Daily Puzzles. Ah, very nice. So I ordered a hoodie because I like collecting speed cubing stuff if you haven't worked that out. <laughs> um, and I've wanted a hoodie from Daily Puzzles. I have a t-shirt, but um, it's winter in Melbourne, so I need something a bit warmer. So this is the Daily Puzzles hoodie I bought and I'm really happy with it. It feels amazing. It's really warm material. So if you live in Melbourne, it's a nice thick hoodie for our Melbourne weather. I'm actually really hot wearing it inside, to be honest. Uh, but it has Daily Puzzles logo, which is very nice. And I really like the color. So I'll probably wear this to one of the competitions once they um, restart. So many things in here. Very exciting. All right, so the first cube I'm gonna go through is the function. I'm probably butchering that. It's an apple cube, and I think that's pretty awesome. So it's just a three by three mod. So we got our instructions on how to solve it, which is always nice. I just got it because I thought it looked kind of cool as a shape mod. And I've heard really good things about these. It's actually got a bit of weight to it. So as far as shape mods go, it's pretty nice. It's got, it's more of a pink finish. The camera kind of makes it look a bit red. Frosted, white interior, a lot of contact, very dry. Corner cuts, I can't believe how easy that corner cuts. Okay, so it corner cuts really easily there, there. Once you go close to the halfway, it still goes. Let's go halfway. It still cuts, a little bit more friction. And then yeah, just past halfway it won't cut. Uh, let's have a look. Eh. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm gonna say with eh, trying to execute a sexy move, not a, not very easy. Can't think of that very easy, but that's really pretty. I love that. I'm gonna put that in my mod collection. So this is the Yushina. Comes with its own lovely little stand right there. Right out of the box, smooth turning. I am getting some weird catches. Like I can't seem to turn it from here. If I wind everything up, there's a bit of resistance there. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't know if it's just an issue with this cube because I've seen people like scramble this and it's fine. But yeah, I seem to be getting something. So I think I might take this one apart later and just check if there's something wrong on the inside. Otherwise it's really pretty. I'm just gonna have this as a shape mode in my collection. I don't think I want to solve this anyway because it's quite smooth. There's not a lot of grip that you'd get anyway. Uh, just a side note though, I don't know if it's just this one, but it does have a bit of a gap there, Yushin. Which is a bit sad because that should be blue. I'm not gonna lie, this is the second most exciting thing in the box to me, which is the Yeet Ball. Thanks, Ting Man. So, it comes with instructions on how to solve it, which is good because I've never seen a shape mod like this before. I know Ting Man worked it out as well, but um, it is good that they have instructions, so they've got it one way up. No, no English. So I'm gonna to struggle to understand this, but hopefully I can just follow the pictures. Oh, wow, it's actually bigger than you realize. I do love the colors, the shades are nice. It is quite frosted. You can kind of see that on the camera. And yeah, you slide it across and to solve it, you need to get bit, the right bits paired up. Turns really well, really pretty shape mod. Really excited to have this in my collection. Yeet. Yep, no, there it goes. So just as a size comparison, this is my 356XS and this is the Yeet Ball. So now I'm really excited, this is the last thing I want to unbox because this is what I was looking forward to most. This is the X-Man Pyraminx Belt V2, so looking forward to cracking this one out. So I just want to compare, they are the same size. The colors are very much the same. Like I said, the new one's a bit luby on the outside. This one's probably been dropped more though. It feels different. I can't explain how I understand how it feels different. Here you see the adjustment to the magnetic setting. So if you turn it towards a plus sign, it becomes stronger. If you turn it towards a negative sign, it becomes weakened magnets. This is just crazy smooth. Like what the hell? You can kind of hear it. It's a little more clicky. Can you hear how much quieter that is? A very, very impressive Pyraminx. Um, definitely gonna be my new main. Wow. So if you're on the fence about getting the X-Men Belt V2, 
get it. Get it now. I can't recommend this enough. You really need to get this. If you think there's a cube I should buy or something I should add to my collection, comment down below and I'll see what I can do. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram at PandaCuba and subscribe to get notified when new videos come out. Thanks for stopping by and stay safe.